the thought experiment. Um, would I say that David believed in God if, number one, again, we're talking out of a book that, let's say, I don't quite believe is real, but, again, I'm going to give you that it is real for this argument. I would say no. In the same way that I will not step out of the airplane at 30,000 feet because I believe gravity exists, he would not sin in front of Uriah, but he still sinned in front of God. So I love your analogy, Jason, because it talks exactly to what I'm talking about. As a human, David knew that if Uriah was present, he would have hell to pay. Potentially, Uriah would kill him, or there would be other things to do. Not to mention just how bad he would feel, because if you remember what the, um, what the relationship between um, David and Uriah were, they were friends. And if he had to have done that in front of him, it would have cost him pain to the point where I don't know if he was, would have been capable of doing it. Now, again, I know this is subjective because I don't know what he could have done in front of that person. But what I'm saying is, is this speaks exactly to the argument. You have demonstrated that David does not have the capacity to commit that sin, at least in front of Uriah, but will do it without question in front of God. So we are perfect, Jason. We're perfect when there's another person present. That's the perfection argument. You cannot, at least I don't know of people, that if they believe something is wrong, will do that. In a moment. Yeah, go ahead. In a moment. Yeah, it's back and forth. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mr. I no, no, no. I, I was, I was done. That, that's fine. Go ahead, Jason. Okay, Jason. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. Sorry, uh, negation. You said, oh. I quote, you said, you were perfect before you, you, Uriah. What about if he has Bathsheba in his brain? What implications does that have? If he's having, if he's, if if Uriah's there, but David's having his wicked way with Bathsheba in his head. Okay, what, negation. Uh, you know, he's still before. Wait, wait, he's still. Wait he's still. No, the, the I, next I, thing. The next thing is. Jason, wait, no, no, no. We're not going to do the. Get, no, we're not going to do the Ganesh stop, 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 stop. Both of you, please. Jason, oh. you made a point. Let let negation deal with that point, one at a time. Okay. Uh, all right. So the point is, is now we're talking about thought crimes. Again, if Uriah knew what J what um David was thinking. And David was aware of that. Let's say that instead of thinking, because the thought crime aspect is a little, well, let's say, out there. What I'm saying is, is let's say that he's talking about doing it with his friend or even just talking to himself. Uriah walks in, and he figures out that Uriah can hear what he's talking, what he's thinking, whatever. I guarantee you he stops, just as if anybody else would, because it's his friend. He doesn't want to harm that individual. He doesn't want to, he can't bring himself to do it in the face of another person. And the only place that we have to worry about thought crimes, Jason, is in the book that you're talking about. So unless we can get past this and you can show me why you will not commit the act physically, because that's what the argument speaks to. We're not going to go into thought crimes. Okay, well, you seem to have tickled Jason, so let's uh, see what he has to say. It's just, it's just, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. Uh, negation, you're just like, I mean, I mean, it's just not, I mean, come back to this reality thing. I mean, he's not, I mean, you, you, it, first of all, David would sit in front of Bash, he, he, he would manipulate Uriah and get him dead and then he'd have his wicked way with Bathsheba. And the problem is there, he knows, David knows God is watching. He knows God's watching, but he, he, he can't help himself. He, he, he wants a bit of crumpet, you know, because that's his weakness. Hey, Jason, but all right. No, I no, can, wait, can wait, I, wait, no, wait, I am finished. Hey, Please, can hey, I just finish? He, he okay. wants a bit of crumpet. And the second thing is this bringing in Uriah all the time uh, and, and getting someone, you know, I don't know where you live, uh, negation of P, but I don't... Well, rather I don't, get personal, let, let him perhaps address okay. the point. Um, he wanted a bit of crumpet. What's wrong with that? Negation. Okay. Uh, well, the problem is, is that it injures. Okay. I want to change the topic. I want to kind of change this around a little bit because maybe it'll help. Okay. 
Um, number one, why is why would that infidelity be wrong? Well, there's a there's a thousand different ex explanations we can go into and get into objective versus subjective morality and all of that crap. I don't care. Let's say that I give you every point that yes, it was wrong. You're still not able to explain to me, Jason, why he, or more importantly, what the entire premise of the argument was, why you will be perfect in front of other people. You say that I'm not dealing with reality. Jason, you're the one who has, I mean, maybe I'm wrong on this. When you're in another room with somebody and there's something that you feel is unethical, you will do that act in front of them, yes or no? Jason. Could you say that again? Could you ask that question again, I guess, you please? Sorry. What, what it boils down to, Jason, is, is that with Uriah and David, it's the same thing as you and potentially your mother or somebody else. David couldn't do it. You're telling me that I'm not dealing with reality when the reality is every person on the planet acts just like David did, including you. So again… Why don't you commit unethical acts in front of people when they're aware of it? You say that I'm not dealing with the reality. That is the reality, Jason. It's not, it's not reality negation. People do, you know, I don't know. Take anger negation. Take exactly. anger, right? You, someone comes into the room, you want, you want them to really feel good about you, okay? And, but, and you're about to get angry, and you see them, and you stop. Okay, and you do that perfectly all the time, and you love that person, but you come home from work, you're having a stressful day, you're going to blow your top. It's just human, <laughs> you know, it, it, you're not good, at, this is the point, you, you're just not, think, you're not in reality. This is, this is a logical construct that you've done, you know, and it, it only works if you can try and pin down a special sin like masturbation, no normal person in their right mind is going to masturbate before their parents. And you've put that three times in your video, okay? No one in the right mind's going to do that. So, so if can you I just can... clarify something? Um, it might be helpful. Um, I don't want to get bogged down in masturbation, but I think you just said masturbation was a sin. Is that right? Um, I just, I, sorry. I just said it was a sin. Yeah. I, 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 I just wanted to clarify whether you meant that or whether um, it was a slip of the tongue. It, well, it, it's irrelevant, Mr. Jones. The, the point is, exactly. he, he used it three times, okay? And I'm just using it. Oh, I'm Jason, just, I'm wait a second. Wait a second. To be clear, I also used stealing and lying three times. And what yes. I said, Yeah, so, no, 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 no. You're not getting away with that, Negation. Okay, You're not getting away with that. You're not getting away with that. Come on. Three times you used it, bro. Well, pause there, gentlemen, please. Pause there. Um, it's no good if you're speaking over each other. And also, um, that is the 10 minutes of the session. Now, I'm quite happy if you two are to allow it to run um, on for a few Love moments. No, I, I'm, I'm happy to continue to the next bit, Mr. Jones, if that's okay. Okay, well, the next bit, uh, if I just remind everyone, is a question and answers from the audience. Uh, see, I've got one contact request. If you would like to ask a question to either Negation of P or uh, Jason, send a contact request to Magic Sandwich Show or One Word on Skype. Alternatively, in Blog TV, send a uh, PM to me, and I will read your question out. And the first question I'm going to read out, Mr. Jones, Mr. Yeah. Jones, um, I thought we agreed to just a last five minutes round off. I thought we agreed to. Negation has five minutes to finish. I'm and I have five minutes. Jason, you are absolutely right. I do apologise. Um, okay. So it'll be five minutes each, and then we'll take the questions. So um, again, if you want to. Um, if you have a question, um, please send me a PM or a contact request. But you're quite right. Um, I missed that bit out, Jason. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I can't remember who was supposed to go first. I'll let negation go first, if that's okay. Five minutes closing negation. Okay. Uh, this will be fairly quick. Um, Jason, I'm not being this personal, man. I really think that you're trying. But I have to, um, I have to state this, that I... I do feel very disappointed. Um, I came into this thinking that you were going to address the question. Um, thus far, we haven't even said one word about what the real question is. Um, so now I have an additional question. Is not only the first question, but also why it seems there is not a theist yet that will even touch the question, let alone 
you know, whatever. Um, I think that if we were in a formal debate, one that was scored, which I have been a part of before at, at the college level, Jason, and again, I'm not trying to be negative, but if you go back over the tapes, the question was very straightforward. And by avoiding the question, you would have absolutely lost hands down. Now, I'm not trying to win this. I don't care. All I'm trying to do is is ferret out truth. But we will never find truth if we don't ask the questions. That's where my disappointment comes in. Oh. I'm done. Uh, first of all, five minutes. Okay, first of all, Francis Schaefer uh, knew Switzerland out very well. He took some students. He got lost. And, and while he was stood waiting uh, with his students lost, um, he said to them, make sure that you really ask questions and think. And, you know, I, from Francis Schaeffer's influence, we're taught as Christians to think, think about. And I want to think, and this video has stretched me. It's been fantastic. I've loved every minute of it. I've loved the research and the thinking. I've got stacks of notes here. I've read on neuroscience. I've read on philosophy. I've read everything and thought everything. And the whole pro problem with negation is because he's too too busy thinking about logic and he's in his own little world he needs to hit reality and think about this issue we don't react perfectly all the time that's the problem with his, the, the video um, not saying there's no value in it there's great value in the video um, I, I, I want to thank Mr Jones Live Life Negation everybody come in and I just thank you so much and thank you for a wonderful opportunity and uh, thank you for all the effort that everybody's put in. And I've just had a fantastic time. And I wish Negation the best. He, he's he's uh, a sincere thinker. He tries his best and I appreciate what he's trying to do. So thank you. Okay, then we'll move on to the final section, which is 30 minutes of questions from the audience. And as I say, you can either send a contact request to Magic Sandwich Show or send a PM on Blog TV. And I will read the question out. And the first one I'm going to start with comes from, um, I'm sorry, I'll probably mispronounce this, Warshash, no, I'm not even going to try. Um, he says as follows, um, Jason, even if we grant your premise that one can believe in God and not always act like one does, what does behaving in such a way say about the strength of a believer's conviction? Jason, uh, I was going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to invite both of you to respond to all the questions, but that one obviously directed at you, Jason, so you go first. Uh, I think it, it, it depends. It, you know, uh, I think there's a lot of truth in what Negation of Peace video, it, there's a lot of truth in it, you know, about the way you act, and, and how you act tells a lot about what you believe, so there is a lot of truth in that, and, and the Christian faith talks about in John chapter 1, uh, 1 John chapter 1 and 1 John chapter 4 and 5, it talks about walk in the light, obey, love, love the poor, uh, it, don't hate your brother, if you hate your brother you're not truly a Christian. Um, but it also says, but if you sin, you can, uh, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. So the Bible expects high standards it expects you to walk uh, in love and, and obedience, but it has an allowance that you will make mistakes, you will fail. That's one point. The other thing is, there are grades within the Christian life. It talks about babes in Christ, and it talks about being mature in Christ. Now, some people can have, uh, you know, in China, they haven't got Bibles, okay? So, they, 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 a Christian will be a babe in Christ. They won't know much. So the way they live, uh, you know, they won't have much knowledge. And, you know, the Christian faith is based on intellectual knowledge, and they won't have much intellectual knowledge. And so that will have an effect on how they behave. And someone who's mature uh, and will, will have more intellectual knowledge. So these, these what I'm saying is there's, there's the strict to be, that we've got to strictly obey God, but we allow us for failure. But even in the even in the Christian faith, there are grades of obedience. People, it has allowances for people's failures and weaknesses. Uh, it says we're new creatures in Christ. But if you're a drug addict and you've just got saved, you you know you can you can be loving, but you're going to be struggling for maybe six weeks, a year, many years with your drug addiction. You know, um, 
are you going to say the person's not a Christian because they're still taking drugs? No. You, you, they've got a problem with drugs. It doesn't mean to say they're not a Christian. So just because some actions are not consistent, um, doesn't